Hello everyone. Welcome to Mary's Little House. Today I have a new pet sitting on my lap. It's Marigold. She's a Flame Point Himalayan. She's a lovely, lovely kitty. And she see her tips. She has flame points on her ears, on her, on her feet, her stockings, and on the tip of her tail. She's, she's produced show, show uh, class kid, kittens for us in our cattery, and she's our, the queen of the cattery. This is, this is the only cat we have left. We had, at one time, five um, breeding females and two, and sometimes three, uh, 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 males. So I'm so glad to have my, my little queen here on my lap. She's a little bit shy of the, of the camera here. Oh, it, I, I just want to mention, just by way of sharing, I was at the thrift store and they had a, a box of, of, of different holy cards and this is in Portuguese. And this is a, 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 a new blessed in the church from Brazil. Uh, she is the first woman religious, or first religious, in Brazil to be beatified. Her name is Sister Irma uh, Lind, 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 Lindava. I can't pronounce Portuguese very well. But anyway, she was a young nun, a daughter of charity, St. Vincent de Paul's and St. Louis de Merillac's congregation, whose, whose specialty is the poor. And she was taking care of a of a, a public uh, um, a place for uh, homeless old men, and uh, and she loved them. She loved them very much. There's a, one man who got into that group, uh, in, in that shelter, that shouldn't have been there. He was only 46 years old, so he wasn't old, and he got very enamored with sister, uh, uh, and sister uh, saw that and and tried to stay away from him and his advances and resisted very diligently his advances. But she, she could have asked her superior to change uh, to another uh, uh, a mission, uh, another apostolate, but she said, I would, I would, give, I, I would rather give my blood than li uh, uh, and die than to leave these men I love so much. These old men that she was, here's Mary goes getting tired of sitting on my lap. Uh, and, and, and she, and, and, and so she stayed with him, but she's watched that guy who was doing all this shenanigans. And, and anyway, one day, after she had come home from the Stations of the Cross, early in the, they had, early in the morning, Stations of the Cross, around 4 o'clock a.m. in the morning, and she, she started breakfast for the, for the men in the community there. And this man, who was so, so irate and spurned by her, uh, got a... An, a fish knife that, that they cut and scale fish with and and stabbed her 44 times in front of everybody there and she cried out Lord Jesus protect me Jesus protect me and she died a martyr a martyr to her who to her purity a martyr to uh, 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 in her service to these men uh, and she became a, a blessed the first blessed in all of Brazil Brazil is a country that has the most Catholics in the world and she's the first woman religious and and she's a delightful person to read her little biography um, I, I will put it on, on the uh, explanation of this YouTube uh, uh, take 10 with Jim uh, 66 how to spell her name so if you want to look it up on the uh, internet it's very easy to do God bless you this is blessed sister Irma I, I better not pronounce that last name. I murdered it the first time. God bless you for that one. Okay, what I want to talk to you about is today's first reading. I just love this reading. It, 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 it's just beautiful. Uh, here we have a wonderful man named Naaman. Uh, he's a general, and, uh, and he has leprosy. That is a really bad thing to have leprosy in, at that time. Leprosy any time, for that matter. But anyway... Uh, Naaman had a wife who had a maid uh, from, a, from a Jewish little girl. And, and the Jewish little girl told his wife, 
uh, 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 the uh, little girl who be, uh, was 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 captured by the Armenians and and uh, in a raid, a little girl who became the servant of Naaman's wife. If only my master would present himself to the prophet of Samaria, she said to her mistress, he would cure him of his leprosy. Well, Naaman went to his king, king of Aram, and the king who loved Naaman very much, uh, because he was a very successful and loyal general, said, okay, let's go for it. And he wrote a letter of introduction to the king of Israel and, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and also uh, loaded him up with all kinds of, uh, of gifts of, of silver and gold or, uh, and uh, talents uh, and, and, uh, and uh, 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 gifts for, for royal gifts for the king. Anyway, uh, he, so they set off on this, uh, to the king of Israel. And the king of Israel read the letter. He says, Am I a god with power over life and death that this man should send someone to me to be cured of leprosy? Take note that he says, He just wants to have a fight with me. He wants to provoke me, start a war or something. And he, and, 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 he, and, he, and he tore his garments. That's a sign that, uh, oh, it's, it's, it's over with, or I'm, I'm, I'm done, or it's despair, or I can't do it. Anyway, Elisha, the prophet, uh, sent word to the king, Why did you tear your garments? Send Naaman to me. So the king of Israel, probably uh, uh, very relieved, sent Naaman to, um, to Elisha. And here they all come, uh, right in front of his house, uh, all this big retinue of... Uh, of, uh, of 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 soldiers and and all this these these gifts and everything and pack horses standing in front of Elisha's house. Now, Elisha didn't come out of the house, but sent word to Naaman to go uh, I I into the river. Uh, uh, and and so so here's what the, the uh, go and wash seven times in the Jordan, and your flesh will heal, and you will be clean. Now that really ticked Naaman off. He said, he got angry. He says, I thought that he would surely come out and stand there to invoke the Lord his God and would move his hand over the spot and thus cure the leprosy. And, and, and are not the rivers of Damascus, the Abana, and the Farfar better than all the waters of Israel? Could I, have, could I not have washed and, and be cleansed? With this he turned, turned about in anger and left. He was leaving. He was leaving the place where he was going to be cured. Well, Naaman was a good man, I say, because his staff and the people, his servants said, but his servants came up and it's reasoned with him. My father, they said, if the prophet had told you to do something extraordinary, would you not have done it? All the more now, since he said to you, wash and be clean, should you do as he said? So his staff, I think that's so beautiful, so loyal, so caring. Stop Naaman from, from running away from this thing. You know, it's too easy. And he was full of pride, pride and he wanted more uh, extraordinary kinds of things. This was seven times in a river that he, that he had better rivers back home. Anyway, he, Naaman went down and plunged into the Jordan, Jordan River seven times at the word of the man of God. What happened? His flesh became again like the flesh of a little child and he was clean. Then he returned to, uh, with his retinue uh, to the man of God. On his arrival, he, he stood before him and said, Now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. So he, he became a believer too. Not only did he get his, his uh, skin cleansed of a leprosy, that terrible, terrible disease, he became a believer in the true God. It, uh, so he, he got cured in, in body and soul. Now, my point in this was so poignant and so beautiful. Here's this little slave girl, a uh, Jewish slave girl, and talking to a, a Naaman's wife, uh, who, who was her mistress, and saying, why don't you go to Israel and, and, and see the prophet, uh, and, and he will be, your husband will be healed. The wife went to husband, the husband went to king of Aram, his, his boss, his king, they all loved him, you know, and uh, 
and he and they they, they got disorganized and uh, with a nice letter of introduction, and uh, um, uh, the, the 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 rest is history. My point is, and I always touched by that that little girl, a slave girl, she was a a, a property. Uh, but they loved her, and she, she, and they respected her, and they listened to her, and, and and my point is, I just see in our little people such a treasure. They have such wisdom that that those who are educated and oh, with with status and everything, who want to be treated special, like Naaman did, and get some more extraordinary kind of prayers said. Uh, if they cut right through that stuff, the, the little people. And this little simple girl, uh, Jewish girl, brought Naaman to be cured by, by, by suggesting this, a very simple and, and faith-filled suggestion. I, I, so what my point is, the, the little people keep us so safe in God's kingdom. Jesus said, unless you become as a little child, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. That's pretty heavy stuff. And so, how do we come with a little child? But by associating with the little people, thinking about them, respecting them, giving them the, more than the time of day, giving them affection and love. I, I tell you, in my life, I'm 70, 72, I think, 1939, December 13th. Anyway, you have to figure that out. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I'm so happy with the little people. I, I, I'm just so happy to be among them. They teach me so much. And they keep me on solid ground. And they're very wise. And they don't go through all the, oh, uh, the stuff we go through when we think we, have, we, we, we need to be uh, specially taken care of and, and that we're sort of superior and all that. No, they keep us humble and little and dependent of, on, on God uh, because they, they are not dependent on themselves. So that's what I want to say about that little girl, about the little people that keep us so close to God. God bless you now.